Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to tcjewfolk.com and the wonderful kitchen of my good friend Mike at Michael Hendrickson Photography. Uh, he has been very graciously allowed us to wreak some havoc in his kitchen today and so let's start wreaking. So today I'm, I'm honoring my Grandma Lee, my Grandma Rose, and my mom and we're going to do a recipe that was common in their kitchens for the holidays, noodle kugel. Um, normally, as you know, I like to use a lot of fresh ingredients in my cooking, but this particular recipe calls for convenience ingredients. And that's probably because when we had the holidays in their house, there were lots of dishes being cooked. There was, there was brisket and the stuffed cabbage and carrot mold and chicken soup and the house is full of wonderful smells. And that's a lot of food to cook. So to have a recipe like noodle kugel, which is pretty convenient, uh, fairly traditional, to, to make, to add sort of to that mix, was a nice um, sort of change of pace for them. All right, so here's what we need for today's recipe of noodle kugel. We need three well-beaten eggs. We need a cup of sour cream. We need two cups of cottage cheese. We need a half a cup of butter, which is one whole stick of butter, unsalted butter, and a cup of crushed pineapple. So what we're gonna do is basically, we're gonna put all this stuff in the bowl. It's sort of a dump and go kind of a recipe. And here's the thing about these ingredients. They're not low fat ingredients. This is the holidays and I'm not gonna use the low fat version for the holidays. For this version, it's full test, baby. That's all there is to it. You know, um, there's a time and a place for the low fat and this isn't it. I'm gonna put the butter in after I put the other three ingredients in. I put in sour cream, I put in the cottage cheese, I put in the eggs, put the butter in now because it's a little bit warm and I don't want it to sort of scramble up those eggs because if we scramble the eggs, then that's another recipe called scrambled eggs and that's another show. So my mom used to make this recipe to break the fast at Yom Kippur and she actually, she's 87 years young and she still does. It's just amazing. So now we're gonna add the crushed pineapple into our bowl. Give it a good stir. So you can see everything's blending together really nicely and you can't smell it, but I can. The pineapple, you know, it's not a super pineapple-y smell. It's just a sort of a bright, fresh, fruity smell. That was a dump, dumped in the, uh, the noodles. Give them a good stir. Make sure everything's really well mixed together. And we're ready to put it in the pan. So here what we're gonna do is Give it a little spritz. Oh. Non-stick. Put it in the pan without getting it on the counter. I generally like to get some on the counter so that I have something to do when it's baking, like I can clean up. All right, that's it. Now, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. So it's been 45 minutes in the 350 degree oven. And we're gonna remove our kugel. And we're gonna put the cinnamon and sugar mix that I buy at the store, it's really easy. And we're gonna just sprinkle this on top. And we're gonna pop this back in the oven, which is now 400 degrees, been preheated, to um, kind of brown up. See you in 15. So it's been 15 minutes. We put the cinnamon sugar on top, put it back in for 15 minutes. Now let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Close the oven door so I don't burn myself. All right, let's see what we got. So this is, uh, this is the traditional noodle kugel recipe that I grew up eating. Uh, and you know, speaking of traditional recipes, I'm gonna do some more shows for you guys, um, sort of based on the same thing, sort of traditional Jewish recipes that have been rolling around my family for quite a while. We're gonna do uh, stuffed cabbage with sweet and sour tomato sauce. I'm gonna do brisket. I'm gonna do matzo ball soup. But I'm gonna make a chicken soup from scratch that is easy but really, really good. Ah, oh, I don't know, this really smells good. It looks great. You can see it's just crisped up. The top is, my favorite part is the top right here. This is the money bite, baby. Mm. Just like mama used to make. All right, 
That's it for today. Till next time, see you later.